What do you think is a good open rate for an email? Is it 14%, 18%, 22%, maybe even as high as 30%? Well, would you like to know how we are getting a 71% open rate on our emails? Stick around. So right now I'm using a tool called B2B Dash to send out automated emails in sequences. Now Dash is a sales and marketing automation tool. It's got a CRM system built into it. It's a very cool, very nimble tool for achieving a bunch of the sales and marketing outcomes that most people need in the B2B space. As you can see, uh, last month we generated 227 leads using the B2B Dash form builder. We booked 60 meetings from those 227 leads using our appointments builder. And what's that? A conversion of about 25 to 30% of leads that came into our world booked a meeting. And one of the reasons why we got such a high booking conversion rate from leads is because we use emails in automated sequences, i.e. campaigns. So now why did we get such a high open rate? Well, it comes down to three factors. Are you ready? Number one, you need to train the spam filters. Now, spam filters are looking for different characteristics in emails to decide whether your email should be going in the spam folder, in the promotions folder, in the updates tab, or in the primary folder. And spam filters look at a bunch of different things. They look at keywords, so for example, you don't want to use free in capital letters in the email headline or multiple exclamation points in a row. Spam filters are looking at things like the ratios between the number of images that you have and text. Too many images to text is a bad sign for spam filters. Uh, maybe you've got too many links for text. Once again, the ratios are out of whack. So spam filters are looking at things like the content of the email, the content of the headline. They are also looking at the history of your email to see whether other people have flagged you as spam in the past. But most importantly, when we're talking about the quality of your email, your email's reputation from the perspective of a spam filter, they are really looking at how other humans have engaged with your emails in the past. So that is the, the first factor, and that is training the spam filters to understand that your emails are not spam. And by and large, that comes from engagement, which is why our second factor that we need to consider is training the recipient. So we need to train the recipient to engage with our emails in ways that are going to train the spam filter. So training a recipient is simply making sure that your email recipients open the email and click on links in the email, maybe reply to the email, or forward your email. These are all really positive signs. And to make that happen, the simplest and best thing that you can do is trigger emails in sequences rather than sending big fat broadcasts. So a typical email newsletter is a broadcast. You send it to 100, 1,000, 10,000 people simultaneously. A sequence will drip feed emails in a sequence to reflect uh, the stage of the client or customer journey with you. So a sequence can send out a bunch of emails in a row that invite the recipient to engage in small ways. So if we wanna train the recipient, number one, let's use sequences. Number two, let's introduce the idea of micro gambles. So it might be the first email invites the person to click one link. The second email might invite them to reply. The third email might invite them to do something else. But what we're doing is we're educating the recipient so they're engaging with our emails and when they engage with our emails, we're training the spam filter. All right, so we wanna train the filter, we wanna train the recipient. The third ingredient is deliverability. Now, when it comes to deliverability, as I said, spam filters are gonna look at some things. We can educate our recipients to educate the spam filters, but also depending on the type of email that you send, and the delivery mechanism is gonna have a really big impact. So for example, if you are sending a broadcast, automatically it's pretty much 
999 times out of a thousand, it's going to go into the promotions folder. And that is because spam filters, um, email tools such as Gmail or Outlook, they're pretty good at figuring out what is going to be an email, like an email newsletter versus an email, which is a one-to-one. -one. So that is an example of a broadcast. The alternative to a broadcast is a one-to-one -one email. So a broadcast is one to many, send it to a lot of people. A one-to-one -one email is something where you might send an email from your Gmail account or your Outlook account to somebody else's account. Now to do that as a broadcast can be done, but it's very, very difficult and there tend to be limits. So it's very, very difficult to send a broadcast directly from your own Gmail or Outlook account. However, when it comes to sequences, if you can send sequences as a one-to-one -one email getting delivered directly from your Gmail account or your Outlook account or whatever, your deliverability is going to go way, way up and you're more likely to land in the primary tab in the recipient's folder. Now, if that email lands in the primary tab, the person who's receiving it is more likely to see it, they're more likely to open it, they're more likely to click on a link or even reply to you. And if we have a sequence that follows that particular formula, we can boost engagement really high. Once we boost engagement really, really high, we train the spam filters to make sure that your emails are treated like the precious, uh, the precious little missives that they are, okay? They are of value to the recipients. So if you want to get your email deliverability way up there, if you want to get like a 71% open rate, there are two things that I want you to consider. One are email sequences from the moment that somebody enters your world, a drip fed campaign. The second piece of the puzzle is that if you can set up those sequences so that they're arriving in somebody's email inbox as a one-to-one -one email rather than a broadcast, your deliverability is going to go way, way up. And of course, if you can do those two things, sequences as a one-to-one -one email, engagement is going to go way up and, uh, and everything else that follows is, is going to work out well for you because you've trained the spam filters. That is indeed how at this point in time, not only are we using this particular tool to generate 227 leads per month using the form builder, not only are we getting almost, a, was it a 25, 30% conversion? Uh, people booking appointments because they want to have conversations with us. But one of the reasons why we're getting that result is we are nurturing the people that come into our world, taking them on a little journey. And we're doing that using email automation so that we can perhaps book a meeting, have a conversation, and then indeed maybe even sign that person up as a customer or client using our cart tool in B2B Dash. But that, guys and gals, is how we are getting an open rate of 71 percent on an average month.